Welcome back to our daily news update, bringing you the latest headlines from around the world, now let's begin. Jason A. L. D. E. A. N. S. Massachusetts concert temporarily evacuated severe weather. Jason Aldean's show at the Xfinity Center in Mansfield resumed two and a half hours later. Jason Aldean's concert in Mansfield, Massachusetts got off to a rocky start after the venue was temporarily evacuated due to severe weather. The 46-year-old country star, who was set to take the stage at the Xfinity Center at 7.30 p.m. ET, shared a screenshot of the evacuation announcement to his Instagram story shortly after 8 p.m. Severe weather alert. We are evacuating the venue. Calmly proceed to the nearest exit and seek shelter in your vehicles. Please stay tuned to the venue's social networks for updates, the announcement read. The Xfinity Center also posted the announcement on its social media accounts. A tweet from the venue noted that the evacuation was due to severe weather. Do not attempt to evacuate. We are still under a shelter in place with the hope to continue the show once it is safe. In another update, the Xfinity Center's Twitter account told concertgoers that a decision had yet to be made if it was safe to proceed with the show. Around 9.30 p.m., Aldine revealed that the show would resume as he shared another announcement from the venue. Good news! Tonight's Jason Aldine concert will continue. Doors are open now. Please make your way to the gates and have your tickets open on your phone and ready for scanning to help ease entry back into the venue. Jason Aldean will be on stage at 10.00 p.m. The evacuation comes a little over a week after the You Make It Easy Hitmakers concert at the Blossom Music Center in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio on July 21 was postponed until SEP.17 due to a severe storm that tore through northeast Ohio, causing heavy rains and flooding. Aldean's concert on July 17 in Hartford, Connecticut was abruptly cut short after the singer suffered heat exhaustion and ran off stage mid-song. In a video that he later shared to social media, he informed his fans that he was doing fine and had received IV fluids. The following day, the concert was rescheduled for July 30 and the Georgia native performed that night in Saratoga Springs, New York as scheduled. The five-time Grammy Award nominee is currently on his 31-date Desperado Highway Tour, which kicked off July 14 in Bethel Woods, NY. Aldine's concert woes come after the music video release of his song, Try That in a Small Town, sparked backlash. In the music video, Aldine touts how small towns wouldn't put up with the kind of riots and lawlessness many cities across the country faced during the summer of 2020. Last week, Aldine denied that, try that in a small town, has racial undertones after critics voiced disdain for the new music video. In the past 24 hours I have been accused of releasing a pro-lynching song, a song that has been out since May, and was subject to the comparison that I, direct quote, was not too pleased with the nationwide BLM protests. Aldine shared with his nearly 8 million fans across social media, these references are not only meritless, but dangerous. Country Music Television, CMT, pulled the video from rotation three days after initially airing the video, representatives confirmed with Fox News Digital. CMT did not provide more information about why the video was removed from the air. However, Aldean streams for Try According to Luminate, which tracks streams and music sales, the audio and video streams from Aldine's latest song went from 987.000 to 11.7 million, a 999% increase in the week after the release of the music video. Luminate also confirmed to Fox News Digital that sales for Try That in a Small Town have spiked as well. The week before Aldine released the music video, it sold 1,000 tracks. Last week, the country music song sold 228,000 tracks. Try That in a Small Town has jumped 999% since the song became a trending topic online. Another major accomplishment for Aldine came on Monday. Try That in a Small Town was second on Billboard's Hot 100 list. This marks the country music singer's first number two spot on the chart, with Dirt Road Anthem getting the seventh spot in July 2011. On Monday, Aldine thanked his fans for their unwavering support in a post he shared to Twitter.
he uploaded a video montage that included clips of some of his recent shows with the song playing in the background. Thank you guys. Ready to see you back out there this weekend. Aldine wrote, adding an American flag and a rocker hand emoji. Included in the video was a clip of Aldine addressing his fans at one of his recent shows. So, somebody asked me, hey man, do you think you're going to play this song tonight? Aldean is heard saying in one portion of the video. The answer was simple. The people have spoken and you guys spoke very, very loudly this week. Fox News Digital's Caroline Thayer and Tracy Wright contributed to this report. Subscribe to my YouTube news channel now. Providing accurate and reliable information on the latest hot events. Join the community for exchanging opinions and learning from each other. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss out on the latest videos. Let's explore the world of information together.